Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Five Biafra allegedly slaughtered in River State hmm, by armed force. Tinibu urged Nigeria to leave politics aside and pray for Buhari. Welcome back to this YouTube channel, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet all of you according to Una time. Yes, my correct people, it they happen for Nigeria as we they talk. I go leave the first video where they take record five Igbo men and women where they delete for river state and meanwhile if today now the first time we be seeing you come across my channel you are highly welcome consider to smash on the subscribe button put on the notification bell so that anytime we be say we drop any new video for this channel you will get notified because now daily news now we will drop for here and after we don't watch this video finish may we just go to the comment section make we go leave our opinion there because today video me and you now go to watch them together and also like the video share the video oh yeah make we watch the video together this is the second dead body this is the third, sorry. And this is the fourth, a lady. And this is the fifth. You can see it over there. This is happening live here in the river of River State, Okbolo. This is happening here at Okbolo. They were murdered last night. Pursuant to our resolution to invite them for briefing on the security situation in our dear country. On behalf of all of us, the Sungri Senators, I want to welcome this team. And let me quickly assure all of you that indeed this Senate, or even the entire National Assembly, is and will remain a partner in progress with you. On behalf of my colleagues, I want to commend our armed forces and other security agencies for fighting the myriad of security challenges across the country in the process some have given up their lives others are maimed we appreciate what you are doing because we know that you are doing your best with what you have at hand This session is going to be a closed session. But I want to assure you and everyone that the challenges we face are taken extremely seriously by the Parliament. Hardly a day passes without this Senate discussing one security incident or the other. And it has been so for many years, not only this current session of the National Assembly. So once again, I welcome you and trust us with what you think will be helpful to us as a parliament to help the cause of the armed forces and other security agencies to perform better because you haven't achieved the optimum and I can attribute that to inadequate resources. We pray that at the end of this interaction we we'll see better ways and means of providing 
the necessary provision for resources to enable our armed forces continue with this national case of fighting to provide the kind of security that we need to protect the lives and property of citizens to stabilize our environment for the economy to receive better investments for this country to be a hub for investments that will provide employment opportunities for our team and youth. The NNPC does not respond to communications. The committee bears me witness here. We have requested for several information from them in the past, not investigative, normal information. And when we went on oversight, we requested for documents. It was not given to us. The oversight couldn't take place. It was converted to a familiarization visit. Until today, there was no oversight on any of the process under NNPC. For whatever reason, we are not here by ourselves. We are here by the law, the same law that gives you the powers to manage the resources on behalf of Nigeria. Nobody should feel above board. And nobody should feel his work is more important than anybody's work. Whatever excuse they are taking, those excuses are null and void because they are not operating within the laws. The powers we have are constitutional. And it's the same power that we use to create establishments such as NNPC. It's an act of parliament. So if you are an act of a particular organization and you don't respect it, then what are you? And what do you intend to pretend? If tomorrow they write any communication to any of their joint ventures, I refuse to honor, how would they feel? As we are talking to you today, Honorable Minister, we don't know how many oil wells Nigeria have. As, as chair, as, as a committee on petrol upstream, we don't know the assets of Nigeria under the NNPC. We have requested to know. We have requested to know, and we are entitled to know what are the assets of Nigeria through the NNPC, and what is their liability. Just recently, they gave an alarm that they could not remit anything for the months of April, May, and June. We should know what happened and why. I want to use this opportunity to talk to you. Please tell them to comply with the provisions of law. Their attitude negates the constitution of Nigeria. It also negates the parliamentary acts that establishes them. It also negates what the DGMD called TEP, transparency, accountability, what, what, and what. It negates it. That slogan, you should change it. Otherwise, you should be responding to our communications. It's not personal, it's official, whatever it is. Even if they do not wish to give, let them tell us we don't have this information. And I'm surprised the NNPC being one of the most uh, privileged organizations in Nigeria could not keep records. Because as far as, as I'm concerned, they don't keep records. If they have records, why is it difficult for them to give us? Clark, give me the letters that we have written. We have written three letters to them. At intervals of three months each, requesting for their budget, budget performance, list of all all words that uh, uh, list of all assets they are holding and managing on behalf of Nigeria, list of their liabilities, what are the contracts they are executing, who are the contractors, who are the companies, what is the duration of the contract of, of the contract, what is the progress made? How much do they generate from the sales of crude oil that they produce? What they, how much do they uh, manage on behalf of Nigeria through other joint ventures? Until today, there's no response from that. Time has come that we must speak. This country belongs to all of us. We are here as patriotic Nigerians. We leave our other jobs and join politics. I resigned my appointment from Nigerian Port Authority. I was very happy and comfortable there. But because I'm interested in putting and to serve in that way, I resigned. Equally, you. So nobody should come and feel.
because he's holding an office, he feels above board. We are not the kind of parliament that this should, should be should happen under our watch. I'm here for 13 years. I'm a very senior ranking member and I'm very responsible for that. And all my colleagues here, even those that come for the first time, they are very responsible. We are all adults, recognized by the constitution and by our people. We should be treated as such. It is really worrisome that our communication is ignored. Just an hour ago, they called me that they could not come because they don't want to prejudice the investigation. Why? Because the matter is in Supreme Court. I wonder how a matter that uh, happened last week will be in Supreme Court.